What up boys and welcome back to another classic TBC gold farming video. So in this video we're going to look at a farm that's uh, okay-ish right now in hopes that it will be better later on. So before we dive into the video I do want to mention that you guys can still get the complete gold guide for classic TBC. This farm and many, many more, like the best farms in the expansion, is in the book. So if you want to get it and you haven't bought it yet, you can use the code TBC and you will get it for 50% off. But the link to it will be down below in the description and pinned comments. So basically the farm takes place in Taroker Forest. I've tried both spots or two spots out of, well, there's a lot of them, but I've tried the two of the spots uh, that I know for a fact are decent just to kind of compare them to each other. Uh, the item that we are after is going to be the Arakua Feather. That's like the main item. And they were like 20 silver each, and they have been 20 silver each for a very long time. They bounced up to uh, 1 gold and 22 silver at max on my realm. Right now, they're 1 gold and 7 silver. So the reason why people want to buy these is because there's a repeatable quest. First, do like a regular quest in uh, Shatrat City. Once you've done that regular quest, you can uh, hand them in all the way up until Honored, like as a repeatable quest. So you hand them in, you get lower city reputation, and then you also get a bag that can contain uh, healing and mana pots and uh, green items and blue pair of BOE boots that you can sell on the auction house. The boots are like level 63 or something like that, so they're not worth a whole ton of gold. They went anywhere between 10 gold and all the way up like 60 gold because you have like the, the random roll on it. So you don't know what stats they will have until you open up the bag. So the main reason is just people who are slacking on reputation. They didn't do any dungeons, so they want to buy the Arakua Feathers all the way up until Honored before they start doing the quests so they can get additional reputation. Because as you guys can see, the sell rate on these guys are pretty damn good. And the reason why they have been so low and are relatively low right now as well is because there's so many people who have been questing and just pumping these up in the auction house. And there's been very few people aware of the item or even interested in buying it uh, that early because they were busy leveling themselves. So the price are slowly picking up and going up. And this farm will be absolutely insane or it's going to be really good. When and if these uh, Araqua Feathers hit like 2 gold each, that's when this farm is really going to shine. And I truly believe that they will be at 2 gold each at some point. So the farm number 1 that I did, the first location, was up here at this camp. You can see these small huts right here. These are like huts with these birdie boys in them. So I did this location because the density is really nice. There's a big chunk of melee mobs, so you can pull uh, a couple of them together and just AOE them down. And the spawn rate, the dynamic spawn rate on this location is really good. However, there was like between two and five people running around questing at the area. Because you pick up a quest relatively close by that takes you to the location. So that kind of slowed me down. I got 117 feathers in one hour and 60 netherweb cloth. I also made 40 golds raw from silver pickups and uh, vendor and grace and green items. So all in all, this farm for me right here, it was like, at the time it was, the feathers were more, but it's like 126 gold on the feathers, and then another 10 gold on the nether, uh, the nether weave cloth, and then the 40 gold uh, raw. So we're looking at like 180 gold an hour-ish on that one. Now, spot number two, the one that I'm at right now, was great because there was like nobody around doing jack shit. There was some people flying by to pick up like these eggs in the nests, but they weren't killing anything. They just looted. Okay, right now. Yeah, there we go. This one, the cursed egg. They just looted the cursed egg, but they didn't touch any of the mobs. So I managed to get way more cloth. Well, I got like 25 more cloth, so I clearly... Killed more mobs, I also got 124 feathers. Not a huge difference, but together with the cloth and the feathers, also got myself the scroll of strength, and they sell pretty damn well. And then I opened up one of these fell iron chests that can be outside of the huts. Now, you don't have to be a rogue and unlock these. Uh, anyone can just pick them up. You don't have to, like, pick lock them. So I actually got myself uh, a bunch of mana pots and healing pots uh, out of that. So... 
uh, not only did I get more fetters and claw files, I got more raw gold. I got 55 raw gold in that one. So it was roughly with the mana pots, with everything, it was right around the 200 gold an hour. But all I need is the fetters to be uh, two gold each. And we're looking at 250 gold an hour in just the fetters alone. So that's my hopes for this farm. But I wanted to put this farm out there just in case some of you guys play on a realm that has decent prices on the fetters. And you can also keep the farm in the back of your head to check out later when the prices have increased on the fetters. Uh, but that was basically it for today's video. So if you want to watch more videos like this one, just make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and you will be notified whenever I upload a, a video like this one. I do daily uploads. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out the complete uh, guide for Classic TBC. Link down below. See you guys in tomorrow's video. Until then, bye bye.